So Lloyd and I are out for a few holes as you've probably seen and today we're going to quickly discuss the takeaway. It's going to be a really, really quick tip, let's say. Um, the idea is we want to hit the ball with a flat left wrist. This must be flat through impact so we're going to work on that. But at address we're not in that position. What are we going to do about it? So in your standard address position when we get lined up or set up there's an angle between club shaft and left forearm so therefore there has to be an angle in the left wrist. At address your left wrist is like, so that's straight, your left wrist is like this. Okay, so we address the ball there with an angle between left forearm and club shaft. At impact that needs to be straight. How do we do that? So taking a dress position, maybe go, there's the angle. We can rotate the sweet spot around, which is leaving the face open. We put it in a flatter left wrist position, which is what my Eureka motion does. And our good way to think about it is, if you're right-handed, so your right hand is dominant, use that to flatten the left wrist, then you can take the club back. So Lloyd's got his position here, so he's got his left arm. Stay there. Lloyd's left arm comes down in this angle, so you can see the angle between Lloyd's left arm and club shaft. Club shaft, left arm, sorry. So when Lloyd takes the club back, if he uses... Right? If Lloyd uses his right hand, so if he makes his right hand do that action, take your hand off, his hand off, and do that. Okay, so there, moves that way. Okay, there you go. So if that's the first action of Lloyd's swing, as he does that with his right hand, there, now he's flat and left, left wrist nice and flat, straight line, look at the golf ball line. Then from there, Lloyd can take his swing, come back down, hit golf ball with a flat left wrist. So he's really just preset it slightly by that bending of the right hand. Thank you. So there Lloyd's used his right hand, he's done that with his right hand and that's flattened his left wrist and then from there he can start his swing. Let's go for that! Daddy, that was an epic swing. That was an excellent shot. So what Lloyd was explaining was the right hand is going to do this action initially which is going to flatten the left wrist. Then from there I can hold that structure round back to that position of impact so I've got a straight line from the fulcrum on my swing left shoulder down to the sweet spot, straight down there. Yeah, I can continue through, job done. So that little action to begin with, that little motion, it's not a cocking of the wrist. It's not a cock of the wrist and then lift up because we're going to do this as we turn the shoulders away. So the right shoulder turns away as the right wrist does that. So the right shoulder turns away as the right wrist does so that does that. Right shoulder turns away in one motion. That there is what presets the flat left wrist turn hit golf ball. Do you agree Lloyd? Yeah. Good lad. Right wrist flexes, bends, right shoulder turns away. That good. So that encourages the flat left good. wrist to impact. So that encourages a flat left wrist to impact. So by concentrating on what the right hand does at the takeaway, accompanied by the right shoulder, that's going to put you into the flat left wrist position. Then from there, you can play a golf shot. You can maintain that or return back to that position to impact. Right Lloyd, go for it. Yeah. Shall we just carry on with our round, keep going? Good. It's a very long green. On you. On you go. Whoa. I'm a master.
We've had a few holes and a little tip chucked in there for Lloyd in bunker somewhere. Guys, if you've not subscribed to the channel, please do so. We're up to 8,000 of you guys. Thank you very much for that. It's absolutely fantastic. That's what keeps things going. That's what keeps me motivated. Also, hold on. Oh, look at this guy. Really? Also, uh, 1.3 million views, lots of thumbs up, lots of bell notifications getting hit, and that's what shares it all around YouTube and encourages me and allows me to do even more stuff for content for the channel. So keep it up, thank you very much, subscribe! Mm. That Mars bar? Mm hmm!